you know, looking back to like the 60s and all that, and you'd see all the protests and uh, the things like that, you know, like the weathermen and the uh, students for a democratic government and all that stuff, um, the people that would actually try to change things, that doesn't really happen anymore, you know, not on those type of scales, you know, not on the bigger scales like that. I, I, with Bush in office, I think someone should have uh, impeached him by now. It would have to be done democratically, you know, I'm sure it wouldn't be a violent overthrow. But. And I, I don't, I very honestly don't believe that the Constitution is being followed in the state. You know, the federal government certainly doesn't have much respect for the, the Constitution as I believe it should be interpreted. I think if we actually followed the Constitution, you'd have a radical change in society for the better. It's, uh, it, it's just funny that we're fighting a war overseas, supposedly, when you fight a war, it's for freedom. But it seems like there's, people are uh, getting less freedom here in America, you know, just, just little things like, you know, banning cigarettes or something in restaurants or just little things like that. It just seems like it's going the opposite way. I think it's more of a, an assumed freedom. But there, there's freedom of speech, of course. I mean, you know, I can say fuck the president and nobody's gonna attack me or anything right now, but put me in jail, but. I think the most successful revolutions are like uh, the Gandhi sort of Indian revolutions, the peaceful re revolutions, where you just shut everything down. I, I think if you, if you get a militaristic thug in there, it's gonna blow everything up and say, okay, now we start over again. And his views might be bullshit Yeah, as look well. at Castro. I speak sometimes of a uh, revolution and, uh, you know, everybody that's into the same ideas as me to get together and, and do something. I'm not sure what yet. I, I believe in a lot of contradiction, too. I, I like to confuse people and contradict a lot of things I've said before, so. Just Christianity does keep some sociopathic types under control. The yeah. ones that are completely out of control have lost all uh, contact with reality, you know? I mean, you know, I, I, I guess the Bible has done some good in the world, I mean. I think most religion can be tied to mental disorders and schizophrenia. I don't really believe in the spirit of the soul, and I certainly don't believe in anything religious. Well, they say praying, I mean, even if you don't believe in the same God that everybody else does, they say that, that it can make you feel better and, and it can just fix your immune system and things like that. Thing. Yeah, I think it's yeah. just all positive things. I don't know, I think praying is like a healthy... Uh, Meditation. Yeah, it, it, it's like a selfish act, but it's a healthy selfish act, as opposed to like you know, alcoholism, <laughs> yeah. very unhealthy selfish act. Maybe maybe people should think of their own ideas and have their own spirituality about things, but don't gravitate into something that this, some other guy invented. You know, you have this life, but you're following this religion that isn't letting you wear pants, or you can't consume alcohol, and you can't experience the life you're having now because you're, you know, you got a hope and a dream that there's another one. So you're just holding it all in. I think skeptical thought is up there with critical thinking. You know, I'd say I would self-describe myself as a skeptic, and I think that's what I think would be healthier. Skeptics don't strap bombs themselves and blow up buildings. So what I would call myself, I wouldn't label myself. Like people ask, what's I hate God? What kind of music is that? And uh. I, it's just rock and roll to me. But I mean, I think this country is still a, a pretty decent country, except for the uh, the government. I mean, I could be totally bullshitting you right now and uh, not even telling you the truth about what I'm actually thinking.